Hi everybody, I'm Carrie from The Frog Project and happy Christmas. I hope you are having a lovely Christmas festive um, time with friends, with family, keeping safe, keeping warm and doing some yoga. Um, we have the most wonderful yoga routine that you can do after your Christmas dinner or after any indulging, um, overeating, anything like that. If you feel a little bit full um, or if you're just in need of half an hour chill time, time out, um, just to, to take a break, um, this routine is absolutely magnificent. You will love it. You need little more than a floor. You don't even really need a mat. Um, you can have a nice Christmas jumper if you like, <laughs> but you don't need anything else, um, just a bit of time. So if you have that time, half an hour, and I promise you'll be feeling amazing. Your food will be digested and you will be ready to go again. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So you can grab a cushion or a blanket if you like, and we're beginning in Vajrasana, which is kneeling pose. So get yourself nice and comfy on your knees. If this is a bit uncomfortable on your, on your legs or on your feet or your ankles, feel free to put a cushion here between your calves and your legs. Um, relax the palms face up or down, just on the thighs. Take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, gently close the eyes. And we'll be here for a couple of minutes. So I want you to take a moment to allow everything to relax. And if you like, feel free to take a big breath in. And as you exhale, just feel the body, the mind, relaxing and leaving you in a place of stillness, letting what's happened so far in your day or over the last few days, taking a sidestep, letting what's happening later or tomorrow, taking another side step and just guiding your awareness to your body, to your breath. This is a wonderful pose to help with digestion because we're sitting on the big muscles in the backs of our legs and it's helping to push blood into our tummies and our digestive systems. So it's really good to sit in Vajrasana after a big meal and the perfect way to start this relaxation sequence. So just take a moment or two longer. Watch your breath as you breathe in, as you breathe out. Relax your shoulders, your jaw. Just let everything come to stillness. And take a breath now as you prepare to return. A big breath in and a long breath out. <sighs> Gently opening your eyes. Lean into one side to untuck the legs as we come into another pose called Nish Panda Bhava. So for this pose, you need a wall or a bed or a sofa or a fire guard, <laughs> whatever you've got that you can lean against. So get comfy, 
lean against it and just allow your legs to flop out. So the inside of your legs flopped out. You can have a bend in your knees if you like. The inside of your feet flopped out. And rest your hands, palms up, on the inside of the thighs there. And this is it, Nish Panda Bhava. No movement or feeling pose. So again, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, allow the eyes to gently close. And we'll be here for a few minutes. So make sure you feel comfy. Take a moment to feel the weight of the head, the body, resting on the wall or the bed or the fire guard, wherever you are. And in this pose, what we're going to do is bring all our awareness to sounds in our environment. So begin to listen to any sounds you can hear. Sounds far away in the distance. Sounds in your house, sounds in your space, maybe even sounds in your body. And just allow your awareness carefully to move from one sound to the next. To the next. Just listening with a gentle curiosity. Not attaching anything to the sounds that you hear. Simply observing them and then moving on. One sound to the next, to the next. And if you find your awareness starts to run away, your mind starts to move on. Gently catch it and gently guide it back to the sounds. It's kind of like when you watch the stars at night. And the more you see as you watch as you look, and it's the same here with the sounds, the more you listen, the more sounds you hear. So for a few more moments, just listening. Notice the more you listen, the more your body and your mind relaxes. And we'll take a breath now as we prepare to return. So a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, you can gently open your eyes. Bring a bit of movement into your body and make your way to the floor. So this is Dradasana or firm pose. So moving down to the floor, onto your right side, bringing your head 
to your right arm as a pillow and you can allow your legs to be bent if that's comfy or if it is comfy, straighten them a little bit, maybe all the way, but be as comfy as you can. And we'll just be here for a couple of minutes. So take a big breath in and as you exhale, feel your body letting go, surrendering. Feel your body draped onto the floor. Feel the weight of the floor holding your body. Close the eyes. And maybe take a moment to think about something that's happened today or the last few days that you feel a sense of appreciation or gratitude for, however small. Maybe it's even just taking this moment for yourself. And whatever it is, just hold it there in your heart or your mind or wherever it is. And then let it go. Feeling the weight of the head pressing on the arm. The weight of the left arm drapes on the body. The weight of the legs resting on the floor. And when you're ready, taking one more round of breath. As you prepare to return, move on with your exhale and gently bringing yourself onto your back. Take your time, comfortably. <laughs> and we're gonna come into Shavasana. Now, if you have any discomfort in your knees, you can have your feet on the floor, your legs resting on each other, or any discomfort in the lower back. If it feels okay to have your legs outstretched, stretch them out. Take any wiggles that you need to take. Then take a big breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, feel yourself relax completely. and bring all of your awareness into your right thumb and allow it to relax completely in your right index finger, middle finger, fourth finger and little finger. Palm of the hand, back of the hand, lower arm, right upper arm, shoulder and armpit, completely relaxed. Your right hip, upper leg, lower leg, top of the foot, bottom of the foot, your right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe and fifth toe, completely relaxed. The whole right side of the body, completely Relaxed. And bring all your awareness into your left thumb. And allow it to relax completely. 
and your left index finger, middle finger, fourth finger, and little finger. The left palm of the hand, back of the hand, lower arm, upper arm, left shoulder and armpit. Completely relaxed. Left hip, upper leg, lower leg, top of the foot, bottom of the foot, the left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and fifth toe. Completely relaxed. The whole left side of the body completely relaxed. The back of the head, the shoulder blades, the lower back, and the hips completely relaxed. The pelvis, the abdomen, all of your organs, all of your digestive organs, completely relaxed. Your heart and your chest, your throat and your neck, your brain and your head, completely relaxed. All of the tissues of your face, your eyebrows, your eyelids, your temples, your cheeks, your nose, your upper lip, your lower lip, your chin, your jaw, your earlobes, the tops of your ears, your whole face, your whole head completely relaxed. Your whole body completely relaxed.
can slowly guide your awareness to your navel, to your belly button. And just observing the gentle rise and fall as you breathe in and as you breathe out. Just for a few moments, watching your breath. And if your mind starts to run away, just gently guide it back to the breath. And now start to deepen the breath, very gradually. With every inhale, allowing the breath to come a little bit deeper into the body. As you slowly bring some awareness back in, some feeling, some sensation and guiding your awareness to your fingers and your toes and maybe when you feel ready bringing some some movement into the fingers and the toes and take your time you can keep your eyes closed if you like whenever you're ready we're going to roll back onto the right side back into Dradasana. So back into that pose with the arm on the head, the legs stretched out, the left arm relaxed across the body. Allowing the body to transition very gradually from total relaxation. It's a slightly more present. <laughs> so again, just feeling the weight of the body here draped on the floor. Feeling that sense of let go, of surrender, of release. Maybe calling back to your mind that instant that you feel appreciation or gratitude for something of your day to day or the last few days or maybe just even a feeling of gratitude for taking this time for yourself to reset. So whenever you're ready now, take your time and gently push yourself up into an easy seated position. So really take your time nice and gradually and bring yourself into an easy cross-legged position. You can rest your hands on the thighs, palms up or down. Maybe bringing the finger, the, the thumb and the index finger together. Keep those eyes closed. Relaxing through the shoulders, relaxing through the face. And take a moment to notice how you feel. Drawing your awareness inside. Noticing the quality of your thoughts. Noticing how your body feels.
noticing your breath. Taking a few more moments to check in with how you are feeling. Noticing if you feel any different now to half an hour ago. Bringing just a tiny slice of the practice into the rest of your day, into the rest of your week or your year. And if you feel like you want to set a little intention, for the rest of your day or your week or the year, then now is a really nice time to do it. Gently say to yourself, something that you want, something that you wish, something that you dream. Now is the time, take all your energy there. Whatever it is, however big, however small, hold it in your heart. And imagine it to be true for just a moment. And then whenever you're ready, guiding all your awareness back into the breath, back into the abdomen and just notice as you breathe in and as you breathe out. Taking one more big breath in as we prepare to return. And a nice big exhale through the mouth. Bring your hands to heart center. And when you feel ready, gently opening your eyes. And there you have it. A lovely 30 minute practice that hopefully has left you feeling a little lighter, a little brighter and ready for the rest of your day or your evening or your week or your year. Please feel free to practice this as many times as you like, every day, after dinner, um, and share with your friends, with your family. This is my Christmas gift to you. Um, so enjoy and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.